Uh, anytime the two of you want to go back to the house, I'll be happy to give you a ride. I can't. I, I can't leave Dixie. Not yet. But thank you, Charlie. Sure. Okay. Forgive me for interrupting. Dr. Martin, Mrs. Martin, you have my deepest sympathy. We know you did everything you could. Why are you here, Lieutenant? The last diver who reported in brought this to me. He found it caught in the rocks on the bottom of the river. Bottom of the river? I thought you'd want to have it. It's my wedding ring. when they go with her. Joe, I... Is there anything I can do? Not now, Trevor. I call you about in the morning. A little yeah. hard to take in. Any time. I just wish we could have prevented what happened. You did everything you could, we know that. I think we should give him some time alone. Yeah. Trevor. How about you? Are you okay? I'm gonna miss him. I'm gonna miss him bad. Talk to me. It's not good to keep your feelings all bottled up. Palmer, if Ted was truly dead, I would be crying buckets right now. But he is not, and I know that. Oh, Paul. I don't give two hoots in hell what the official report is. My Ted is not dead, okay? He's not dead. Now, already took, God already took my little girl. But he would not take my Jenny and then take my Ted, too. I know that. I know, and nobody can convince me otherwise that God would ever, ever do that. Trevor, talk to me about Ted. Ted's dead. It's nothing to talk about. Did you see him fall? Tell me. Jeremy and I got there. Dad was 
fighting tr Togo right to the end. And the explosives went off and they just fell off the bridge. Jeremy and I ran to them. And I just thought they'd resurface. I thought we'd be pulling them out. I kept playing it over and over in my mind. I'd while he was falling, while we were running to him. The distance between the bridge and the water. I Strength of the current. The trip to the hospital. The trip to the hospital, it never happened. Why couldn't it have just happened the way it happened in my head? Trevor, Trevor. He was my friend. I failed him. No, you did everything you could. That's not failure. Oh, if I just... If I just known where he... Toggle took him, I... A few minutes sooner, we... Would have meant the difference between his living and dying. He was counting on me. He was counting on me, and I wasn't there. If... You and Tad hadn't been so close. If he had been a stranger, would you still be blaming yourself for the way you handled the case? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Tad would be the first one to tell you there's no blame. He would, wouldn't he? He was something else. I'm gonna miss him. I'm missing bad. is not dead. I know he's not. Ruth, Ruth, don't you feel it too? Oh, boy. I can't feel anything anymore. But he's alive. He is. We can't stop now. Oh, well, stop. This is hard enough. But I've clinging to false hope. Ruth. Um, I, I'm sorry, Palmer. I, I, I didn't mean to. I know, I know. Come on, darling, let's go home. I can't leave Dixie. Oh, well, I'll stay. We'll and uh, yeah, Melanie's I'll, here, too. I'll get the coats. We need Thank you, Charlie. Honey, could you and Emily Ann come back to the house with us tonight? Absolutely. Yeah. Joe. If there's anything that we can do, maybe you want to Just call any time. Okay. Oh, Dix needs a sedative. Could you, uh, could you call me, please? Yes, yes. Thank you. Do you want me to stay here with you? Oh, no, no, really. That's all right. Thanks. I'm fine. Palmer Zirkin has a search party, and, uh, you know, we'll probably hear something before the night's out, so... Well, I'll call you tomorrow, okay? Okay, that's fine. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.
damn and too old. I killed that daughter. the best you could. It was lousy. No. I screwed up and my friend is dead. It was not your fault. He was counting on me. If I'd have been there, Tad would be here now. You can't say that. The hell I can't. Trevor. Tad is dead. What is the point? What the hell is the damn point? I don't know. Oh, how are you? I have no idea. Uh, anything you want, if it's food or company, I'll do what I can. Very nice of you. Just want a little peace and quiet, that's all. Dixie, why don't you come home with me? We can take care of you. You can have your peace and quiet. That's very kind, Uncle Palmer, but I think I just need to stay here, you know. It, this feels right to be where Ted and I live. Of know? course it is right, darling. And you should stay just where you are most comfortable. But we want you to know that if you should change your mind at all, you're more than welcome to come and stay with us, okay? Thank you. And now I think that we really ought to go and let you get a little rest, huh? I'm so Tonight. sorry what happened. Now you call me if you need anything. I will. I love you, Dixie. And I love you too, sweetheart. I just loved him so. I know you did, darling, I know. And he loved you too, you know. Thank you for everything. Oh, it's your thing. Come on, Palmer. Will you take good care of her, huh? Thank you. Goodbye, darling. <clears throat> They're right, you know. Not getting some rest you think you can? No, you're not going to go anywhere, are you? Of course not. Now, you let Laney take you upstairs, and I'll be right down here if you need me, all right? Okay. I'm so proud of him, Ruth. Yes, sir. He really was a wonderful man. In the last few years, so many moments. Wish I could have told him just once more how much I thought of him. Yeah. I wish... Wishes aren't much good right now, are they? No, I guess they aren't. Children lose children. <laughs> <laughs> 